Hi everyone, welcome back to Get Ready with Queen Louise. So today's going to be actually pretty short and sweet. I'm just going to get to the point to go through these. Um, it's the hourglass today is the butterfly. Yesterday I did the elephant and it was a little longer because technically it had bronzer, blush, highlighter, all that. Now the butterfly palette here, which is beautiful, does not have those things. I mean, not the bronzer, I guess. It has the highlighter and blush, but it also has uh, fit, it has two finishing powders and two blushes and two, what would it be, strobe powder, and then one metallic strobe powder. So basically two highlighters. <laughs> um, as far as the finishing powders, mmm... I'm going to play with them. As a beginner, I'm not so sure on those for, you know what I mean? But as far as like the blushes and the highlighters, if you're light skin toned, mm, I, I, to maybe medium, because I'm like to medium, depending on where I'm at, you know what I mean? But we're going to try this out. I am going to try a blush and a highlighter and we're going to see, I, I don't know. I, I kind of think this one is kind of pointless because it doesn't have a bronzer. And I know that sounds bad because it doesn't necessarily need that. I guess it's just really what you need. I personally, like I said, I think the elephant's going to be my favorite. But that tiger's got that blush and I'm going to tell you, woo. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, so let's play with the blush. Now the bronzer I did go ahead and apply, which is from the butterfly palette. I decided to keep it base hourglass, you know. Um... The rest of the face isn't done because I'm actually going to do Tarte palettes next. So, or I got two of them actually, but that's a different thing. Anyway, let's get back to this. I'm losing my mind, y'all. Okay, so we have two blushes. So we have Soft Flush and Sunset Glow. So Soft Flush, Sunset Glow. Soft Flush. I feel like that one would be darker than that one. Yet, that one says soft flush. I think I want to go with the sunset glow, which is this one right here. Or do I want to go with that one? Mm, let's go with this one. Let's just do it. So, what is that one? What was that again? I don't even know what I'm doing now. Sunset glow. Is that which one we want to do? I don't know. Alright, let's just tap in. See where we're going with it. Uh -oh. I'm just kind of scared. Okay. Okay. I'm just patting. I'm just patting. Okay, so you can go in with a light hand. And build it up. Okay, not so bad. Generally, I mean, hourglass blushes are pretty easy to work with. They're pretty blendable and, you know, you're not going to have much of a problem. But you, you, you never know because you, you kind of do want to go in with a light hand because, I mean, you come off pigmented, you know what I mean? Give or take. Okay, let's just knock a little bit of that off. Okay. Because, like, I went in with that orange blush, and I did do a light hand, but it, it, it's, it's nice. Let me tell you that much. It's orange. But it is very pretty. I really did like that. I won't deny that one. I really, really like that blush. I think so far, that's probably my favorite blush that I've used yet. I think, but you can see where you can build this up to, I mean, look how bright that is now, which I'll tone it down with my sponge here in a minute, but I'm curious to know how far I could build this up, but at the same time, I got to go out in a little bit, so 
I don't want to be doing anything too crazy. Although that would be my luck. I'd do something crazy. Look like I have clown cheeks, which I kind of already do, but that just is what it is. I mean, it is a pretty... color. I mean, here's the thing. It's nothing that I've never seen before. You know, it's a pretty shade. It applied nicely. It blended nicely. It didn't pick up anything. I'm just using a Morphe F4. Yeah, it didn't pick up anything. It's not moving anything underneath. Even, like, when I went to, like, sort of blend it, it didn't. Of course, I'm using, like, a stippling motion, technically. I mean, I think it's a very pretty color. But hourglasses blushes are always pretty. All right, let's let's go in with the highlighter and see. I mean, to me, this is just a blush. I don't know how else to say it. All right, what highlighter? Let's go in with. So we can go in with strip powder, incandescent light, or metallic strobe powder, celestial strobe light. Let's do, let's just go for it. Let's go for metallic. Let's do the metallic one. I feel like I want to do that one. You want to? Should we? Ooh, why not? Okay, I'm going to pick it. Ooh, I picked up a good bit. I'm going to pick it up on my uh, Real Technique setting brush. Ooh, this is gonna be I feel like it's gonna be really like boom oh no uh, I can see it but it's not like it's not bad okay it's actually very pretty kind of like a what is it a champagne I mean, I think it's pretty. Y'all, I'm using the, um, a new concealer. Let's do the nose. It's the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. And I will say it's radiant under there. It, it, it's radiant. I like it. I think I'd need a different shade. I'm just using a sample shade of it. It's, I think it's four. Yeah, four fair. I'd like to get a darker shade of it in a sample, though, to see if I'd like it. All right, I'm just putting that. Okay. I mean, all in all, it's not a bad palette. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Again, it's just really what you want. You know what I mean? And again, if I'm working on those finishing powders on how to use them to see if they're worth it. Because I just don't know, you know? I'm a beginner to makeup, so I'm not so sure if this, you know, is the best palette for a beginner, to be honest. But, I will say... I do like the packaging. Of course, you gotta like butterflies. But I do like all of the packaging, to be honest with you. Um, I still think my favorite is the elephant, but tiger for packaging, I think. But I don't know yet, because I haven't tried the tiger palette yet. So we're gonna work on it tomorrow. But that is all I have for you today, short and sweet. I hope this helped in some way. Again, I think 
you know, you're going to use it because you spent that much money on it for sure. Like, I'm going to use this palette. But I don't think it's going to be the first one that, like, I'm going to always want to go to. It's going to be the elephant. And I know that. But what I am curious about is, is I'm wondering if these are, like, maybe metallic or not metallic magnetic and i can pull them up and switch them maybe i'm curious about that i'm going to try all that but as far as the palette goes it's good quality it's the same hourglass quality it's just whether or not it works for you so i hope this helped in some way and i'll see you in the next one um give this video a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that way you're notified every time i upload i upload every day by sunday I'm off my game because I'm not used to doing face reviews at all. So, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.